A meeting took place Thursday between the former presidents of Armenia and Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh, Levander Bedrosyan, Robert Kocharyan, Serge Sargsyan, Arkady Hugasyan, and Bako Sahakyan. Arman Musinyan, the spokesman for first president of Armenia, Levander Bedrosyan, wrote about this on Facebook. A number of issues related to the situation on the ground in Artsakh and possible future developments in the post-war period were discussed during the meeting, he added. The surplus was as in Armenian church in Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh, which was leveled to the ground by Azerbaijanis, had been built several years ago with the help of Armenian soldiers. Dozens of Armenian churches and monasteries remain in the territories that have now passed under Azerbaijani control since the recent war, and their fate is at risk. Meanwhile, the Azerbaijani Ministry of Foreign Affairs hastened to comment, demonstrating the essence of the Azerbaijani attitude towards Armenian cultural monuments. According to them, this chapel was illegally built during the almost 30-year occupation by Armenia of lands that are internationally recognized territories of Azerbaijan, the statement said. After Azerbaijan applied to the OSC in 2017, the co-chairs of the Minsk group of this organization agreed to visit the chapel in Jebrail. Azerbaijan then expressed serious concern about the change in demographic and cultural characteristics of Armenia in the occupied Azerbaijani territories. After this trip, the OSC Minsk Group co-chairs came to the conclusion that the chapel was built for the Armenian soldiers. Thus, this facility, erected only five years ago for the occupying Armenian forces, cannot be considered part of the history of Jebrai's culture, their statement added. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov will meet with the foreign ministers of Armenia and Azerbaijan on April 2. Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesman Maria Zakharova noted during a briefing. The Russian foreign minister is expected to interact with the Azerbaijani and Armenian foreign ministers within the framework of the meeting of the CIS Council of Foreign Ministers, she said. The Armenians of Israel have urged the country's authorities to stop their sale of weapons to Azerbaijan. Representatives of the Armenian Committee of Israel held a protest in front of the country's defense ministry calling on Tel Aviv to stop selling weapons to Azerbaijan. They noted that they were protesting not against the Israeli people but against the country's government which was selling arms to Azerbaijan. As of Friday morning, 1,005 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 188,446 in the country. Also, 18 more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 3,434 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 433 and the total respective number so far is 170,160. Armenia were hosted by Liechtenstein in the first round of Group J in the European qualifying round for the 2022 World Cup and they won 1-0. In the second round of Group J, Armenia will play host to Iceland on Sunday in Yerevan.